Hey guys. <laughs> so happy Sunday, y'all. This is Sunday, November the 12th. Non-stop vlog every day in November. And I'm just gonna put on a little line and a little gloss for y'all. Girl, ain't much going on. So how have you all Sunday? I've been going and I gotta make this short and sweet, girl, because now, yep, you hear the fire smoke detector. Because we need to put a battery in it. I hate when that happens, but like, oh well, it's called life. But anyway, um, how was y'all Saturday? Hopefully y'all Sunday went well. Uh, another day of relaxing for me. Um, child, this day was so chill. Like, we ate dinner at, by 2.35, my plate was empty. 2.35 in the afternoon on a Sunday, I was eating dinner. Well, dinner was like I was done eating <laughs> my dinner. So, of course, around then, so we ate dinner so early, around 6 o'clock, I was hungry again, so I just fixed the sandwich because I didn't want any more dinner. But, yeah, this has just been a chill, relaxed day. Um, of course, my nails are not done because I did not go to my office today. That's where the um, the nails that I want to put on is at. I left them at the office by accident. So, the nails will be getting done on tomorrow. Monday. <laughs> Alright, y'all. So, I did write down a few things I want to talk to y'all about. Because I ain't wanted to be, you know, just like, uh, oh, I, I ain't got nothing to talk about, girl. Mm. <laughs> so, I wrote a few things down. Um, Now. So it's Sunday, it's almost 10 o'clock, so I got to make this really, really quick because my Married to Medicine is coming on, and I got to check it out to see what's going on with Jackie, you know, and you know, y'all know, for those of you who follow that show, Jackie's husband cheated on her, and they got this big thing going on where they're saying, like, Toya, the, the other young lady on Married to Medicine, like, she's pretty much kind of, it sounds like she's kind of trying to blame Jackie. For his infer for that inf infidelity, not infidelity, infidelity. Y'all know how I talk, girl. Ding. <laughs> so, um, I'm sitting here. I'm getting ready to water my plant, Ripley. Y'all want to say hi to my plant? I really love this little tree. Okay, and I was told that if I put it in a bigger pot, it will really grow. And I just watered it yesterday. Of course, I use rainwater. And then I take water from here, which is rainwater. I need to fill it up. I have plenty of rainwater in my supply. My witch pot is full. Um, so this is what I do. I, I water Ripley and then I daily spray her little leaves with rainwater. Like, I just love it. I do not have a green thumb, but I do want to get more plants and just kind of start to try to have. They say it's good to have plants in the, in the, in, in the house. So that's my Ripley. My frog Lumpy is behind y'all. I ain't even gonna pull him out and fool with him, girl. But girl, look, I was watching um some YouTube videos, girl, and I found a 10-year-old makeup artist, okay, that can beat your face to the gods, okay? A 10-year-old little boy that can do makeup. He does makeup tutorials. His name is um Makeup by Jack. Now, there's another makeup by Jack, but I forgot what the last name was attached to it. But this, the one I'm talking about, I'll link the channel below. Ten years old. Puts me to shame. He wears make, he wears nails. His nails be, be gorgeous. His makeup be on Felique status. He be having on lashes and everything. I'm just like, ah, wow. Girl, ten years old. So y'all go on over, check out Makeup for Jack, girl. Get you some, girl. I'm telling you. I'm, I, you know, you can learn some stuff. Because he can really do some makeup. Now, his, his, the reason, okay, now his, his mom, just to give you a little synopsis. His mom is a makeup artist and a makeup, no, she's a makeup artist and a beauty therapist. And that was strange because I've never heard of a beauty therapist. I've heard of an esthetician. But I've never heard of a beauty therapist. So I don't really know. I don't know if that's, you know, you go in and you get your, your face massaged and get 
you know, mask and, and pulling out oils. Like, I don't know what a beauty therapist is, girl, but I'm going to Google it. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not, I ain't going to be able to, uh, yeah, I got to Google that because I don't know what no beauty therapist is. So, yeah, I got to go watch my marriage of medicine. Now, the Real Housewives of Atlanta, their new season started last week. And I, I was going to watch it tonight, but I thought it came on at 9. And I had it mixed up, so it came on at 8 o'clock, so I missed it. But I'm not a big fan of Real Housewives of Atlanta. I used to be, but I don't really watch it that much now. But I kind of caught up on, you know, like the last season, so I'm kind of caught up with what's going on. So if I wanted to watch it, fine. But I don't mean no harm, girl. But Candy cried too much, girl. I'm just saying. Like, I like Candy. I really do. But, God, Lee Day, it just seemed like they always show the little clips of her crying, like crying. All the, even on the um, the Escape um, show that, that came on, showing how her and her group Escape um, kind of reunited. Like, they showed a clip of her crying. And I'm like, God damn, she cried too much. Oh my God, I can't, I can't with the cry. Mm, mm, mm. But anyway, yeah, so that's the deal on that. So if you're interested, Married to Medicine, come on at 10. I don't know, girl, by the time y'all get this video, it's going to be after 10 o'clock. So girl, catch up and get you some. <laughs> but I watched this really good movie today. I actually watched two movies today on Lifetime. It was one of them kind of Sundays, just relaxing, watching Lifetime and all that kind of stuff. And, girl, the movie was called, what was it called? The Perfect Mistress. So, for those of you who may not know, well, what girl, girl, what is a mistress, girl? Well, I ain't going to tell you to Google it. I'm going to just tell you a mistress is a side chick. It's, an, it's a woman on the side. Like, if you married or you got a, you know, fiancé or boyfriend, whatever, and you got a side chick. Um, but they usually call mistresses, like, if you're married and you have a woman on the side, they call it a mystery or a side chick. It was called the perfect side chick. Um, the, mm, the perfect side chick. <laughs> the perfect mistress. And basically, it was about this young lady. Okay, she worked on her job. She worked real closely with the lady, I, I believe, was like her supervisor. But they became really good friends from working together. But the young lady... One of them was married, one wasn't. The young lady that wasn't married, she had never met the woman's husband because, like I said, they were just, like, really good friends from working together. And, you know, they might get together after work and go eat and have a few drinks. So whenever they would meet up, they would meet up, you know, or whenever she would go to her house, of course, the husband would be at work. So she had never met her husband. So the lady that wasn't married, she started having, well, she had, like, a one-night stand with this guy. The guy didn't give her his real name. His real name was David, but he told her his name was Sam. He ain't never give her his last name. They had like a one night stand, but then, you know, they met up again in a coffee shop by accident or whatever. And they just started like seeing each other on a regular basis. So she was going back to her best friend that she worked with who was married and was telling her about this guy that she had the one night stand with. And a friend was like, oh, you got to be careful. You just meet somebody and sleeping with him. But then she was just like, well, we met up again and I'm really starting to like him. And, you know, she was just like telling her girl about her new man. But come to find out the man that she was having this little fling that was turning into something more serious was her girlfriend's husband. But he had gave her the wrong name. So when she was telling her girlfriend about him, she was like, his name is Sam. So the girlfriend who was married, she didn't know it was her husband. The, the way that they all found out, or the way that the husband, and the husband did not know that the girl he was on the side cheating with was friends with his wife. So his wife was at a somewhere eating lunch one day, and the girl was there you know they were eating lunch together so you know it was just like well come on you know come have lunch with us so the husband came into the restaurant kissed his wife before he even looked to see who was sitting on the other side of the table he kissed his wife and when he stood up to go walk to sit down at the table he looked and it was the girl that he had been having the affair with and you know of course mouths dropped the girl was just like and she got so she was so appalled and so upset that she got up and left and, girl, that was just a mess. Y'all got to check it out. It's called um, The Perfect Mistress. So she ended up having a uh, fling with her best friend's husband and did not know it. So that was something. That was really something.
This is what I want to ask y'all about. Okay, I told y'all that that 10-year-old is like a very good makeup artist and his makeup is gorgeous and he wears nails and stuff. I just had a question because it came to my mind when I saw it. And I was like, if you all son got into makeup because maybe you was a makeup artist or maybe you do makeup a whole lot and your child sees it and then they want to start doing it. Would you allow your son, your 10 year old to wear makeup and would you allow them to get their, their nails done? Now this, this answer will be different depending on who you're talking to. Some people allow their kids to get nails and stuff. I've seen young kids getting their nails done. I've, I've been in the nail shop and seen young girls getting their nails and their toes done. So I know that certain parents allow it. I'm not saying one way or the other how I feel about it because whatever you do with your child is your business, okay? I can answer as far as what I would let my child do, but what I would let my child do may differ from what you would let your child do. So don't take offense to what I'm saying because I'm only saying this as it applies to my children. In my in my situation with my kids, no, I would never let my kids get their, their nails done, you know, with the acrylic and stuff. Um, at the age of 10, I'm, I'm just going to say at the age of 10 because that's the age of the child that was doing the makeup and it had the nails on. I wouldn't, my personal belief, if you, if you want your child to get your nails done at 10 or if you see nothing wrong with it, listen, boo, do you. I tell people, do you, because I'm a do me, okay? You don't do you based off of my opinions and my thoughts and my concerns and vice versa. Uh, me personally, no, I wouldn't let my child get their nails done. And if it was a boy and he wanted to get his nails in, in makeup or do his makeup, no, I personally would not let my son do his makeup, at, like wear makeup at 10 years old, and I wouldn't let him get his nails done. That's my personal thing. Like I said, do you, boo? But it just brought up the question, like, would you allow your 10-year-old, whether it was a girl or a boy, do makeup? You know, have a makeup, little makeup, and be able to do their makeup if they wanted to and get their nails done. Just a little hot topic question. Put it in the comment section. I'm just curious to see the different opinions and thoughts of, of people. And we're going to agree to disagree, okay? Just because I may not agree with your opinion or your thoughts or your views, I'm not going to block anybody just because they don't agree with what I'm saying. You don't have to agree with what I'm saying, but you're not going to be disrespectful, okay, about what I'm saying, girl, because I don't want to have to get nobody all the way uh, together. <laughs> yeah, so that just brought up that question when I saw that 10-year-old doing that makeup, like he was gorgeous, like he put me to shame, because girl, I got nubs going on, his nails was all nicely done, and his makeup, I was like, oh my God, girl, mm-mm-mm, so anyway, um, Oh, let me just tell y'all this real quick, and then I got to get off of here, girl, because I'm married to Madison. I got to get with my show. I ran across this, okay, somebody, I don't, I don't know what video it was, but I ran across, somebody had did a video, and I was, you know, like reading the comments and stuff, and there was a guy. And the guy actually does YouTube. He wasn't a troll. He wasn't nobody, you know, using a fake name just to come and say some sideways stuff to somebody. He literally had a channel. Because when I saw the person's video and when I saw the comment, and I was like, like, it was like, it was just so like, I was so curious. Like, it's like I had questions for him based off of what he had said under this person's video. And come to find out, he had a channel. And when I went over to his channel, I was like, yeah, he just as ignorant as the comment that he left. But I didn't leave him any comments. And I didn't even ask him any questions. Because at that point, I didn't even want no answers. I was just like, really? He said that anybody, this is the comment that I had read under the person's video. He said that anybody that has two or more baby daddies should be shunned. And I was like, anybody that got two or more baby daddy should be shunned. And I'm like, and I was thinking to myself when I saw the comment, I was like, well, he must, he must only date girls who are either virgins, which, which is very hard to find these days, or girls who have only slept with at least one guy. 
and that's it. So I'm just, it just made me wonder, like, okay, when you when you go dating or, or get your girls, do you like do like a, a a survey as to you know their their past sex life? Like, if they don't have any kids, that, that that's not saying that they don't have like a lot of mileage. Like they could have zero kids and have over a hundred thousand miles on their you know JJ, Okay, so I was like, what does how many baby dad? Because he he was basically saying like that was just nasty. And that was just gross if you got, you know, uh, uh, more than one baby daddy. And I'm like, well, what, what, it's no more grosser. If that's how he feels that you're gross, if you have more than one baby daddy, then you must feel that women who have slept with more than one guy in their lifetime is nasty and gross. Because you have to perform the sex act in order to get the baby. Now, now babies don't always come out of sex acts, but when you meet a woman, nine times out of ten, she didn't have more than one partner, even if she's never had kids by all these different partners. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, what? He's gonna have a hard time finding a a a a a, a, a young lady if his motto is. You either have to be a virgin or have only slept with one guy in your lifetime. Because, like, in my opinion, it may not be true, but I don't see, I don't, I don't see where there's a whole lot of uh, one timers out there. You know, I've only had sex with one guy, and I may or may not have had a baby by that one guy. I just really wanted to ask him. You know, the girls that you dated were they virgins or had they only had one sex partner? Because you could not have any kids and have like tons of mileage. The number of baby daddies that you have is not signifying whether or not you a hoe or whether or not, you know, like you just get around. You you have people have many relationships in their lives. And sometimes babies come out of each one of them relationships. That doesn't mean you a hoe. You could have spent a couple years with this guy and had a baby by him. And then he split or you split or y'all split. And then you get with the next person. That doesn't mean you don't you can't have any more kids ever in life just because that child can't be by the, the first child's father. If you get with a guy and you have a baby by him, you expect them to be with that guy. If y'all split up and you get with another guy down the line, which nine times out of ten, you will eventually. What? You can't have any more babies because that's going to be considered nasty or, you know, whorish if you have a baby and it's not going to be by the same father as the first guy like I wasn't really understanding the logic y'all just put in the comments like what y'all think about it because I don't think people should be shunned because they got more than one baby daddy I'm like if that's the case then you need to shun women who has had more than one sex partner in their life and most women have most women I know they got some virgins out there and I know they got people out here there who have only had that one experience but nine times out of ten, when you get in your 30s, and by the time you get in your 30s and 40s, you didn't had a few, okay, or more. I'll just put it like that. So, anyway, because like I said, he's judging women on how many baby daddies they got. Well, hell, man, you could have a woman who got like 300,000 miles on her on her for JJ, and she ain't had not nary bad by these babies. So, I didn't get it. It was just like, that was just weird. So, I said, let me ask my people what they think about that. So anyway, y'all, 18 minutes and girl, I got to go. Hit subscribe, girl, if you so choose, girl. If you choose to subscribe, hit that red subscribe button. Hit that notification bell, girl, so you'll be notified when I upload, girl. Go in the description box. Check out all my other YouTube videos, girl, that I have up here on the YouTube streets. And I will see y'all on Monday, girl, only if it's the Lord's will. Girl, bye. Mm, mm, mm. Shunned.